And Tom Berg, I want to thank you for keeping on topic because this is an issue about labeling. It's not an issue about science, it's about consumer's choice. If GMOs are not different and therefore should not have to be labeled, how are GMO corporations able to get patents by proving they are completely unique? So they tell us it's no different and turn around and tell the patent office it is so different, they deserve to be awarded a patent. Obviously, it is different enough to be patented, so just label it. I'm 74 years old. I'm disabled. I'm a veteran. I have cancer. I deserve the right to know what I'm eating. If the product is safe, what are you afraid of? So label it and let the consumer choose for themselves. Thank you very much. I'm, my questioning has to do with simple right to know, and I'm trying to hone in on this resolution. If 12-57 said GMOs will kill you, we'd have a different story. It's just saying label it. So if, if uh, I remember the day, my question would be, I remember the day when there was an expiration date on some things, and then government says you should put an expiration date on it. There may have been the same argument. I have to now label a product of an expiration. Maybe people won't buy it. Maybe it won't sell. And maybe the ink that you put on the product is going to cost, and then you can't afford it anymore. But the process is, my question to you, is we've seen this, this evolvement from no expiration date. I'll still eat a Twinkie. They could say it doesn't have an expiration date. But at least I make a decision because someone's told me about it. So I'd like to ask you again on regards to 1257 to take away your scientific knowledge, your idea about whether or not it's up or down, but just on the simple fact of would you like to know yourself whether or not it's going to, let's assume it doesn't cost any more to put it on the product, let's assume it's just on the label as if it were salt, sugar, or, or uh, yellow dye number five. Would you object to this resolution of which just says add it to the label and what's your basis again not scientific but you see posters behind you that says if it's not a problem put it on my issue as i said in my testimony is that this is an anti-gmo anti-science measure and my whole emphasis is the scientific argument is that there is no difference so while we're looking at our labeling system in the United States, we all have confidence in that label saying that these are in our products and these are the things that we should be concerned with. Genetically modified organism or GMO has a negative stigmatism similar to um, the pink slime. We could have called the pink slime anything else, but who would buy something that, has, that says slime in it, to be honest? But it could be very well healthy and not, doesn't affect the um, welfare of, of all of us. So my issue is, this is an anti-GM or anti-science measure. I looked at it on the last whereas on page one. This resolution will provide the basis for limiting dispersal of seeds from genetically engineered whole foods into the agricultural landscape. To me, that's a measure of an anti-GM or sentiment. So, you know, that's where our concern comes from, and that's where my concern is. Let's be real on what this resolution is. Labeling of GMO has a negative connotation. People want to stop it. And Chair, he did mention something that I have to now, I have to refute a rebut or ask it in a question form. I, the exact sentence that you referenced here, you know, there's been movement at the state legislature for certification. I represent Leeward District, Wainai Coast, and you know we got a lot of organic farmers, and they've been just saying, let me know if my neighbor next door, because when I put that seal on there that says a statement, I'm organic, my consumers and customers and patrons of my product will say it's organic. But if my neighbor over here is doing, I don't know if they crop dust anymore, yeah, but if they're out there spraying and doing their stuff, putting their gobbledygook next door, that's what that language is here. The sentence in there just says, I, I kind of want to know if I'm pure or not. So uh, this isn't this isn't an up or down on GMOs, and it's not an attack on it's the farmer. It's a certification process, right? It says limiting. Limiting. Dispersal. 
dispersal. Of genetically modified seeds. So the farmer that's not using the genetic seed, the farm that's not using and wants good old bees from the good old days to pollinate their crops, and, they, and uh, that's what we're talking about here, I really wanted to address your statement that there's a movement that if GMOs don't pass today or there's nothing else going on with this, is the farmer who wants to stay pure to give their consumers an organic product, they want to know what the other side's doing on the other side of the fence. And I think 1257 is a step in the right direction. In a toxicology report from Monsanto in 2002, Monsanto's GM corn, Mon863, had problems with Rats had problems with blood cell, kidney, and liver formation. Male rats had increased white blood cells, and female rats had lower levels of red blood cells. Liver and kidney had, kidneys had lesions and malformations. There's plenty of studies that show that there's health, health risks risk associated with GMO food. These guys are totally lying. We, and I've lived this long, healthily, simply because I have made intelligent decisions about my life and what I should eat, what I should not eat. Are you going to take that away from a senior citizens, from a skupuna, by not putting it on labels? Have you ever watched a kupuna go to the grocery store? They usually pick up the can, look and see the cholesterol, the oil, the sugar, the, the salt, how much are in there. It's important to us, and it's important to me. I believe in informed decisions. I say, label it. It is our right to know what we are eating in our country, in the Hawaiian Islands. It is our right. They denied the danger of Agent Orange. And you're going to trust them with not labeling GMO and creative products? Please, do the right thing. Thank you. Whether GMOs are good or bad, I want to know that what they are because GMOs are used with pesticides. So when they grow them, they're, the crops are sprayed and they're engineered to allow um, pesticides to be sprayed directly on the crops without killing them. So when you buy genetically engineered soybeans, the poison pesticides have been sprayed directly on the food that you're going to eat. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want to feed my baby that. Not because genetically engineered crops could be good, bad, or different, but because poison is not something that I want my baby or my children to eat. And so I'm asking you, please, to just allow the labeling to happen so that we can know and be informed in our choices. And if they think they're doing something wrong, they won't want to label it. And if they think the products that they're making are not worth eating or buying, they won't want to label it. But if they have faith, and what they're doing is correct and right, and that America should be feeding their families and children and elderly um, parents with genetically engineered food, then, then maybe they would happily put that label on. So we're asking you, please, just give us the choice and, and, and ask Monsanto and other companies to have faith in their product if that's what they're promoting around the world for people to eat. Thank you. This is a technology that is growing so fast that they cannot keep up with it themselves to understand it. So I really feel like we do deserve the right to know. Thank you. This is a courtesy and consideration issue that labeling is, falls in that category. We don't have the scientific evidence one way or the other. Having a scientific background myself, all I can say about science is that the absence of scientific data does not equate to prove that something is harmful or not harmful or safe. So it's it's really a situation of, that we don't know what we don't know, and I'd like to have the opportunity, the courtesy, of knowing what food I'm choosing. They say that it makes it cheaper to do it their way and that organic's more expensive, which is not true because they create seeds that are sterile and um, can't be reused. So a lot of farmers have to pay every season to buy their seeds because they're not normal seeds. So for future generations, seeds are our heritage, and so we have to able to hold on to that by knowing what kind of seeds we're buying and if we let them just take over Hawaii in the end we're all going to be hungry.